Wastelanders to the first episode in my Let's Build of Adam Katz Garage. I have been looking forward to this for a long time, and I know a bunch of you have been as well ever since I announced it. Uh, we are about to dig right into this, daddy-o. Alright, I apologize for that. <laughs> I will try to keep the lame 50s talk to a minimum, but I promise nothing. So, of course, first thing we gotta do is jump right in and get rid of all the garbage. Um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff too. And, um, yeah, so I've been talking to you guys uh, off and on on Facebook and here on YouTube to uh, figure out what we're gonna do with it. And right off the bat, before I even started doing this, uh, I knew for sure this was going to be a 50s themed um, build. And uh, all you guys agreed. Everybody, uh, when I asked for suggestions, you all pretty much had the same idea. Definitely wanted a 50s theme going on, and so that's what we're going to do. And uh got some pretty cool stuff planned for this, and you guys gave me some pretty good ideas besides that. So, uh, yeah, first thing we got to do is get in here and just kind of scrap the heck out of all the garbage. I have to be careful, though, because there is some stuff here and there that I kind of do want to keep. Um, but obviously, like, Garbage like that we're getting rid of. I don't even know where that dude came from, but he's garbage now. So we're going to scrap him. We don't need the truck. We don't need that. Might as well get rid of that. Uh, that's just some debris. Get rid of all this stuff. Oops, got to be careful there. Because uh, we don't want to mess with the roads. I mean, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. And little things like that are kind of annoying because there's a landing point for birds. So now there's going to be a bird that lands up in the sky when there's nothing there. But, um, we'll see if we can fix that. Maybe we'll stick, like, a regular tree in there at some point or something. And, uh, since we're taking out stuff like this, now we're gonna have a, a little bit of a gap on the floor there, so I'll have to remedy that with putting something else in there. But for now, I want to make room to do the things that I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna get some rid of some of this mist, because we don't really need it. Uh, it is cool-looking, but it's gonna kind of hurt our FPS just being there. And, you know what, we're getting rid of all this, too, because I'm going to be putting up an awesome wall. Actually, now that I've just done that, <laughs> I do remember I had an idea, but thankfully we have some more stuff here, so um, we can actually get rid of uh, that, and don't need that. I'm going to keep that as a marker for now, but uh, let's go ahead and get rid of... All of this other stuff, we don't need the fence because I'm actually going to build a wall here out of the cars and stuff. That's going to be our wall because, I mean, this is kind of a salvage yard, junkyard type dealie. And, oh geez, all these barnacles, all this garbage. Yeah, get rid of all this, don't need this, this, or any of that. Thankfully, most of this is all meshed together, so quick and easy and boop, all gone. Get rid of that, rid of that. And I don't even know where my borders go to, so we're just going to kind of explore out, uh, I think right about here. Oh, no, I just, uh, oh, I just couldn't see that. Okay, never mind. Don't really care about the rocks at the moment, but uh, we're just going to keep going till I either get force exited out or get the notification that I've gone too far, which apparently we can go all the way up to the water out here, so that's, that's pretty cool. That uh, definitely helps with giving me more room for the design. And, uh, yes, I'm actually getting rid of all the seaweed in the water because that is actually part of the settlement. That is stuff that needs to be rendered, and we don't need it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, sometimes I get rid of the rocks, too, but I'm not, uh, you know, 100% sure on that just yet. So, but, uh, maybe I'll get rid of some of these, and let's see what about this way, um, get rid of some of these bushes too, and I gotta be careful too with some of the walkways and stuff, get rid of some more of this mist, like I said it looks really cool but we don't need it, just get rid of it, and okay, um, yes anyway I have to be careful with some of the stuff that I take out, like up here is a functional walkway that one of the NPCs here, I don't know his name, but he's uh, on patrol and he comes out this way all the time. And I don't want to really mess with that. So, 
Uh, we're going to kind of take this and I think we're going to start extending our wall out in this direction. And initially I was just going to start piling cars on top of each other, but the fact that I have these like holding rack things, whatever the heck they're called, um, actually comes in pretty handy. So we're just going to kind of put some of these up here. At least I think I want to use them. Um, I mean, it does kind of leave gaps on like the way that I was thinking of stacking cars. So, yeah, there's our first idyllia of a pickle here. So let's see. Bring this down. That kind of makes it a little bit better. And if we do that, I mean, I could always make it look like we pierced the cars. Or Here we go. So this is kind of the idea that I was thinking of, is like stacking them on top of each other so they look kind of like crushed cars. And obviously i got to use ones that have doors or something to fill in the gaps here because otherwise, you know, somebody can come along, come along, come along with a gun and just kind of shoot. So for now, we're just going to kind of use some of this as um, markers for where I want my borders to be. And maybe we'll park this dude right here. Thankfully, that's only in two pieces. And to shove that there. So I, I got this idea from a previous build of mine that I had done on the PlayStation 4 um, down in that construction site uh, whose name completely escapes me at the moment. But I had done that for a Raider build and used a bunch of these cars as um, my fence. Like cars, trucks, all kinds of stuff like that and just kind of piled them on top of each other in a very similar fashion. They used train parts, um, there was even some uh, what should we call it? Tractor trailer parts from 18 wheelers, all that kinds of stuff. Uh, well, let's let's uh, let's put that one up there. Just kind of put it right there. So again, I don't even know if I'm actually going to use all of these. So we're just going to kind of put them in here for now, and uh, I'm going to have to put some other bits of pieces of metal here and there to kind of make this work. And maybe we'll. We'll put one like right like that, and so yeah, I'm gonna eventually be coming in here clearing out just about everything that's in here. You know what? Uh, I don't want to put two trucks really right next to each other. Let's kind of put you there, something like that. Go over a little bit. How about right there? So yeah, like I said, I don't even know if I'm gonna be keeping all these for now. Um, just because of the fact that, like, none of them have any doors. So, and fun fact, if you've uh, never done this kind of stuff before, when you see stuff like this on its side, whoop, you pick it up and there it goes, right back to its normal orientation. Um, just kind of shove that in there. So, again, I don't know why I'm bothering to really, really stylize them when I'm going to be changing out a lot of this, but it is what it is, so we'll just kind of go with it for now. Now, ah, I can move this. Sweet. wasn't sure if I was going to be able to move this. Um, I can't actually get into this without them attacking me because it's all highlighted in red. So, for now, we're just going to kind of stick him right Maybe like here. There we go. And get rid of some garbage while we're at it. So, you know, we got a lot of scrap to, to clear out. So, there was several... Um, mods that allow you to build here at Adam Cat's Garage. There is the Workshop Workbench Anywhere, which means you can throw a grenade anywhere and turn it into a settlement, only you cannot use um, any of the settlement perks. Like, you can't really have um, settlers, and you can't, like, assign them stuff. I mean, you can kind of do it, but it's not the same. And, like, you know, you look at all my stuff up there. Like, I can do... The majority of that but it's not the same and so um, I used one that basically turned this into an actual real settlement this way I can assign all the different characters here like that's the other thing I was trying to think of the uh, Adam Katz characters themselves like are not assignable using like workshop workbench anywhere so but with uh, the mod that I'm using now, I can assign them and treat this basically just like a regular real settlement. 
And uh, another one that I saw actually did some of the repairs for that building there with like all new panels with windows and that's not how we roll. This is all about building and wouldn't be a building show with uh, the building done for me. So yeah, so that's where we are. We're just kind of coming in here and doing our thing and I don't know if I'm going to keep that. So for now, I will just leave it. That's definitely going, and I'm going to do something different there, so right now that can just kind of stay. This bad boy we're going to have to use somewhere. I'm going to figure something out really cool for that. So for now, we'll set it uh, right about here, which is where my, my back wall is going to be. Again, we don't need this garbage chain link fence. So, oh, big pile of trash. Get rid of that. Good. And unfortunately, somebody does live in that RV, but not for very long. They're about to get evicted. And, um, I might try to do something cool with, uh, you know, something hanging from that hook. So, for now, we'll just kind of do that. Two trucks together. Why not? Um, again, I don't really know why I'm bothering to really line these up. So, oh, here we go. Take this little motor and let's just hang it from the hook for now. Just because... Uh, just because it looks kind of cool, right? And a little bit over. There we go. Cool. Um, and again, I don't know if I'm going to be using these, but for now, we're just going to kind of move everything out of the way. And to get the a real effect that I wanted, uh, we're going to use some junk cars that I can spawn, so ones that have, like, doors, um... We're going to keep, like, the bus there, because that can be pretty cool. Um, I just got to take it and move it, obviously, something along these lines. And then I'll put in some, like, metal panels for the windows. Oh, good, get rid of that. All this garbage. We don't need any of this stuff here. And, uh, we're getting there. Ooh. Too many buttons. There's another one. Let's just kind of shove this one. Man, all these have no doors. You know what? Get rid of that. Uh, same thing with that one. No doors, get rid of it. I might actually take the uh, RV thing here and maybe we'll actually use that as part of the wall. You know what? It is now. Cool. We're going to take it and because this bus has that like chunk missing out of it, we're going to shove this bad boy like right in there like that. Kind of did the same thing with uh, the bus in my other build and just kind of like shove them into each other to make it look like it just bruh, like use the crane or something and just like there you go yeah all right get all this garbage uh section of the road don't know if we're gonna need it don't need the light or the antenna can i scrap the wire on itself nope i'll have to do some finagling with that that's the right word not really Let's just get rid of all this stuff. Oh, yeah, poetry now. Let's can't destroy it, so we'll just save it. Um, don't really need the toy cars. Get rid of all this. Can't use the radio. Oh yeah, Zeke's safe. It's not safe anymore, buddy. Neither is your toy minnow. Alright, got rid of almost all this garbage. So it looks like it was never here. Oh! Got the little Halloween skull. Now I have no idea. If that's going to mess with uh, Zeke coming over here and um, trying to go into something that isn't here anymore. So we're going to find that out as time goes on. I mean, usually he doesn't uh, come here anyway, I guess, unless he's sleeping. So I guess it's really not that big a deal. So uh, looks like we're about to get some rain again. Um, I think this is one of those locations where it rains a lot. So we're going to have to kind of constantly turn that off as we go along. Let's put these two back to back. Kind of like that. You know, let's for this one a little bit. Then we can stick another car like right in between those two. Um, yeah, maybe we'll keep this last guy here. Kind of shove it in right there. I think that's where I want my wall, right? Maybe a little off that way. Let me see how far over this way can I go. Oh, quite a bit. Cool. So might as well get rid of some of this junk too. Um, oh, there we go. There's my my marker. All right, let's put a little thing to help remind me. A little support beam. Uh, I think right about there. Oh, 
Right there. Okay. Cool. So another little tidbit. I didn't. I wasn't the only one that just saw that, right? There was a tire that just like went flying through the air. Yeah, this guy right here. I like just caught that out of the corner of my eye. At least you guys can rewind the video right now and and look for that. I I can't do that because I'm recording this live. But yeah, that uh, was some some funky stuff right there. Uh, anyway, a little tidbit as I've taught you guys before, if you want to try to create something outside your boundaries, so like here's my boundary, create it in it, and then you can bring it out and put it there if you wanted to. But uh, just keep in mind it's going to want to kick you out, so you're going to want to turn off your workshop timer every time you want to, or I should say while you're playing, so that you don't get that. So as you can see right now I have that, and if I hit, uh, I think for me it's F5, yeah, now I can actually come out here and it won't kick me out, but I can't interact with any of this stuff, so. There you go, now you learned something. Alright, let's get rid of some more of this garbage here. Um, the outhouse, uh, no, we're gonna get rid of it. They don't need to poop. I mean, they do, I mean, I'm probably gonna give them a bathroom or something, but a much nicer one. Oh, ooh, I thought it said food. I was like, yeah, what are they doing? That's pretty gross. You know what? Get that car. Again, I don't know why I'm keeping these, but for now, see, there's my idea. I was going to put that in there. And don't mind me with the, the sound effects. It's just kind of something I do. Uh, you're new to my series if you haven't seen my other videos, uh, especially my Let's build series that I got going on here. We just finished Taffington Boathouse, and uh, as I go along, I tend to make sound effects. It uh, helps make things a little more interesting. So, cinder blocks, we don't need that. Get rid of some more of this garbage, and yeah, get rid of that. Woo, don't want to get rid of that. And get rid of that. Cool. And I'm going to kind of leave the front for now to help me. Um, as kind of a marker. Oh, see, and there's my auto exit. So that's one of the things that's weird about um, the combination of all my mods that I'm using is there are sometimes, especially with um, settlements that aren't supposed to be settlements, that when I get to borders, it like just boots me like that without even like a warning, and I don't know why. So let's see, where's our actual exit? Right about here. Okay, so we uh, can move this a little bit. Not too close, so I don't accidentally come out of it, but the most important part is that I can still function out here. So we're going to kind of test our borders right now. Uh, get rid of that. that. I like to get rid of all this stuff, not just because I like to start with a clean settlement, which uh, for me is also very important, but... Um, from a strategic tan st the strategic standpoint, I like to have a nice, clear view of uh, the entire area around my settlement. So that's another reason why I go absolutely crazy with taking down like all trees and getting rid of all the cars and the bushes and stuff like that. Um, so I haven't hit the auto exit, so I'm just going to kind of make a mark here. Um, I have no idea how big I'm going to make this actual settlement, so for now I'm just going to kind of loosely plot my... Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Right now are. Um, anyway, I'm just going to kind of loosely plot my border so I can figure out where I can and cannot build. That's weird that, like, didn't give me the auto-exit thing or anything, yet I can't build out here, that's so weird. But uh, the most important part, again, this doesn't really have to be in the ground, is that I know where I can build, so let's just kind of do that. And let's see, can I build here? Can. Cool. And there. Cool. So now I kind of know my basic layout. Let's go continue in scrapping all this kind of stuff. And we got a gate here, and I had a wall here which I took down, which all of that might be irrelevant as I try to figure out my, my strategy here. And yeah, like I said, I do gotta fix this whole thing down here, so uh, we're gonna get rid of the weights and all this other stuff. We don't need this garbage here. 
Uh, sorry guys, no more pumping the irons. Um, oh, that's mist. Get rid of the mist. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to straighten that. Yeah, crooked fire's not good. Hey, buddy. Hey, Duke. That's cool, because like, now I can assign them. So actually, you know what? Now that I know that, I can totally uh, get rid of all this, because I can um, assign the guy that uh, normally goes up there to a um, security spot. A security guard post, so that's cool. Alright, now we're going to get rid of this guy here, so let's go ahead and see if I can highlight him real fast. Get rid of it! Yay! Good. Alright, let's uh, do a save here. Um, I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. Now, you're never going to know where the heck this is, but that is actually Salem. That was a viewer request for a settlement build that I just started working on on the same day today. Uh, we're going to do a new save because I said so. Uh, and right now I just want to get some better weather in here. So let's go ahead and go back to world weather clear because I'm sick and tired of the rain. There we go. Alrighty. So I still don't wholly know what I'm going to be doing with this building here. But um, we're definitely going to you know fix it up and clean it. And there is sections of stuff here that I really wish I could get rid of like this big giant pile there so I have to get creative in finding a way to disguise it. Uh, that kind of looks like our Meyer Lurk vat from our uh, Coastal Cottage build if you haven't seen that look uh, down my channel just a few videos from here for my Coastal Cottage Meyer Lurk uh, restaurant. I uh, got a fun little thing right there with a boiling Meyer Lurk. Everybody got a kick out of that one. That was one of my most favorite things I've ever done. Ooh, don't want to get rid of that. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you got to be careful with some of the scrapping mods I use. Like you can see, there are like that barkeep marker. So somebody's actually going to come over here and act as like a barkeeper, and that's just part of the game. And I don't want to get rid of stuff like that. We don't need that garbage. And especially since I don't know what's going to go on in here, I might try to. Oh, pardon me, my back's killing me. Might try to fancy this up a little bit. Who knows? Um, but I do have some really cool ideas of other stuff. Uh, this is definitely going to get fixed up and be turned into something nicer. And I think I'm going to add a second story to it as well. I haven't decided and haven't f quite figured out how I'm going to do that just yet. So right now, let's just go ahead and continue to get rid of all this. Yeah, see, like, I don't want to get rid of that. Um, we'll keep the garage as a garage part, a car hole, as uh, Moses Lack would say. And, okay, I think we got uh, some pretty good clean spots here. I think, oh, nope, I thought I'd already come up here when I was doing some testing and cleaned out, but I think that might have been a, a different save, so let's just get rid of it, because it's garbage. It uses FPS, we don't need it. And as you can see, I could scrap this entire building, so it's going to be... Quite the tricky build when I go to start working in these locations, but, um, yeah, this is going to be a fun build. And as you can see, we got this big, giant open spot back here that I'm going to be utilizing. And you know what? I don't know if I'm going to need this road or not, so for now we'll leave it. But I can actually give you guys a little sneak peek as to what's going to be going on here. So let's head over to, uh, yes, and displays... Projector screens. Let's see. Uh, oh, I thought I might have had a bigger one. I don't know if I can make this any bigger. And let's see. Televisions, displays, workbench, furniture. Oh, maybe not. Unless, uh, yeah. Well, let's, let's see. What do we got? I think I want a clean one. Don't need the speakers because of what I have planned, but I have no idea if this is going to work. So for now, let's see, can I... Oh, there we go. Now I can highlight. i got to find the right spot here. That's really weird. At the top? That's... Okay, whatever. So, we're going to make this big gigantosaur. Because this is going to end up 
breaking as I just broke it. <laughs> I was talking about this in my other video. Oh no, okay, I just moved the the highlight spot, that's all. But um, I was talking about this in my other video for um, uh, Teffington Boathouse when I went to make my big giant doors and it sometimes when you go to make things larger it actually breaks them in the sense that they no longer can be made bigger or smaller and um there we go and whatchamacallit they won't function anymore so yeah you gotta be careful when you're doing that kind of stuff uh let's see uh, I guess it's basically the same thing. And you need power, and so do you. So, let's go ahead and hook up some power, and let's see how this works. Generators, not that kind of power. Yeah, we're going to use the cheap wireless fuse box that gives me like 10 billion. Um, for now, I'm just going to kind of uh, stick you there. And now I need a tape, obviously. So, back to here. Displays, workbench. Whoops, workbench, because... Uh, or do I have one? Actually, I think I might have one left over from the last one I did. So, let's see. Uh, over to miscellaneous skids. And... Okay. Maybe not. Uh, I thought I did. Oh, that's not good stuff. Unless I just missed it. Let's see, let's start from the beginning. Um, I don't think I can put games in it. That would be kind of cool. Let's see. Do, 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 do. neck. No, doesn't look like, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, because that was a different save that, um... That from the boathouse was on, so let's go ahead and create ourselves a little worky benchy. Boop. And let's make a tape. All right, let's see. I am going to do... Um, hmm. Luck. Why not? Cool. All right, let's see if this works. I want to see if these, this will actually scale up for me. All right, so... Do, 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 miscellaneous. Where'd you go now? Uh, luck bobblehead. Nice. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. There we go. Is it not close enough? Do I have to make it closer? Because nothing's happening here. I think I might have broken it. <laughs> I don't hear anything either. Um, Alright, hang on. Maybe it's not interacting. And maybe I did break it after all. There we go. It's not getting any power. Projector is too high, too low. Okay. Compared to the thing? I've never used the projector before, so this is this is all new to me, so I have no idea. Obstruction detected. <laughs> Alright. Uh let's get you way up in the air then. Now it says it's too high. Yeah, this might not work with making it big because of uh what I done dude. So let's see. If I make it high this way. Uh. All right, let me pick it up. And now it's way too high. <laughs> yeah, I think this is not going to work because of making it as big as I did. Let's go ahead and bring this back down to regular size and see if it like, even is working. All right, so that's 100%. Projector isn't facing the screen. Where is my projector? I lost sight of it. Oh! Wow, this is like really finicky. And now I can't pick it up. There we go. Oop, it looked like it was going to work for a second there. Maybe. Yeah, I think I broke it. I'll have to kind of play around with this a little. <laughs> but uh, I don't think this is going to work for what I was initially planning, which was making this into um, a big giant screen for drive-in. I uh, might be able to do it, with, but uh, it'll be a little screen, so you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of that screen. Let's make a new one, because I think I kind of 
screwed that one up. Let's go ahead and put one of these in. And let's see. Okay. That's <laughs> still not working. It's not giving me an error message either. Oop. It wants to work. It just won't unless I'm too close. Or am I too far? <laughs> oh, this is fun. What do you mean it's not facing the screen? It is too. Fire. Am I, like really off that much? I have a. Uh, yeah. I wish they would lock into each other. That would be nice. You know? Alright, let's get rid of that projector. Oh, and I think I <laughs> got rid of the tape, too. I'll have to make a new one. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's, um... Go with a n different projector. Let's go with one of these guys. Er, set that there. Now let's make a new tape. Here, make another luck. Alright, because maybe we'll get lucky this time. Hey, I said leave. There we go. Sheesh. Alright, let's transfer. Alright. Um, where are you? Oops, wrong one. Dum dum. Um, special L is for luck. And we still got nothing. <laughs> oh, I mean, you guys are probably laughing. I probably know exactly what I need to do to fix this. And why is it telling me it's not facing the screen when it is? So, I don't know. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, that's kind of my plan, is I'm going to park a bunch of cars back here, and this is going to be a drive-in, and yeah, and then we're going to add all kinds of other stuff to this location. But uh, I think, yeah, that's, for whatever reason, this is just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And, um, I mean, obviously it is facing the screen. Let's, let's got, oh, I got it backwards. Ugh, what a dope. But of course it still doesn't work. <laughs> oh, man. Really? So. Hey, we got it. <laughs> oh, boy. Now that we have it, Let's uh, exit out real fast. Let's do a quick save because it's working. And let's see if what happens if we can actually make this bigger while it's doing its thing. I can highlight it. Alright, we got a little bit bigger. Now let's see what happens. Oh, it didn't work. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not, so... That's a shame. That's too funny, though. What happens if I move this up? Nope, it's just a fixed image. Okay, that that was still fun though. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna look and see if I can find some sort of other mod that maybe has like a big giant projector screen that I can use. If not, we'll just use the the smaller one here. It's no big deal. We'll still have something showing, and we'll still get that same effect of a um, drive-in movie theater here. Uh, we're gonna have a restaurant somewhere over there as well. And all kinds of stuff. Um, let's go into... I'll show you guys real fast if I get to the right spot. Vehicles. Buses. There's another bus. We're going to throw one of these in as well later on for our wall. we got the direct one, same as one we already have. Uh, all these different types. Um, we don't need the bus stations. And let's see. Trucks and trailers. We're going to definitely use some of these bad boys for our wall. 
Um, obviously, somewhere where it hasn't been Be careful not to get used. So we'll go ahead and just put something like that. That kind of faces a... Eh. More like that. And then cars. Um, obviously, we got all the, the nicer ones that'll be here for the drive in, so this would be parked like right there. And then we got the wrecked ones. Um, I want some that have doors. We've got frames as well. But that's not really what I'm looking for. I know I have in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, I got the Fault Tech van. Do, 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 do. Maybe none of them ever did have doors. Maybe I just kind of stacked them elsewise. Oh, and we got these guys here. So, you know, these are... you got to be careful with these because these go boom when you shoot them. Uh, as you can see, it says explodable. So you got to be careful. Um, I'm also going to be using, like, some of this type of stuff, too, to help hold some cars and whatnot in the air. All kinds of stuff. We'll even possibly throw some of these in here. Maybe they dragged some in. Uh, not the vertebrates, but, you know, the tank bits. Uh, some train carts, definitely going to be using some of these, probably not that one, but you get the idea. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I know we didn't really do a whole heck of a lot other than doing some scrapping, but at least you can kind of see a little bit of my vision that we got going on here. We're going to have a drive-in. Uh, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this building. I'm definitely going to be repairing it. We're going to get rid of this walkway and all this crap because we don't need that. And... Yeah, you know, we're going to do some sort of uh, cool restaurant and something. But, uh, all in due time. And, uh, yeah, this is going to do it for this very first video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I will see you very, very soon. Until then, don't get irradiated. <laughs>